What's going down, everybody? It's your boy, Ray GQ, and we are back with another film session to talk about talented rising second-year wide receiver LaVisca Chenault from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, we all know that Jacksonville has completely overhauled their coaching staff. We have no clue what kind of offensive philosophy, what kind of plays they're going to run, how they're going to deploy these weapons. They brought in Marvin Jones, drafted Trevor Lawrence, and Travis Etienne. We had high hopes for Colin Johnson, DJ Chark, but they bring in all these other players. They're talking about using Travis Etienne in this Percy Harvin type role when they already have Percy Harvin in LaVisca Chenault on the team. But what we saw from the rookie last season was very encouraging. He was deployed in a multitude of ways, deep routes, intermediate routes, and of course, what made Visca special at Colorado, short area targets and letting him do what he does after the catch. He is a walking tank when he has the ball. Well, actually, a running tank when he has the ball. His yak ability is outstanding. He's a physical runner, one of the most talented wide receivers in the 2020 class. And, uh, you know, my biggest concern for LaVisca was his ability to stay healthy. It seemed like he was always limping off the field at Colorado, injured at the Combine, but he has shown so far early in his career that he can stay on the field and be utilized in a variety of ways, which will help us score fantasy points for our dynasty roster. So, without further ado, let's dive into LaVisca Chenault's tape, highlight the things that he does well, and my thoughts on his outlook moving forward. Here we go, LaVisca Chenault 2020 tape. We're going to start off with the game versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Bunch formation at the bottom. We're going to see LaVisca drag across the field and then do what he does best, which is create yak after the catch. Big, big wide receiver. Once again, six foot one, damn near 230 pounds. I mean, that's just physical right there. And then run after the catch ability is just special. Just a tank, pushing, people, pushing players over. I mean, the route itself is nothing special, right? You're not looking at, you know, a Keenan Allen type savant route runner, but just special contact balance. I mean, throwing down. Look, is that Desmond King, 20? Just get out of my way. Just bowling over people. And that's what he did at Colorado. And that's one of the reasons why everybody was so excited about him coming out of that 2020 class is because he is just a tank when he gets the ball in his hands and he gets ahead of steam. And you see him just probing his way through traffic. And look at 20. 20 doesn't even, like, doesn't even really want to deal with him. And then you get stiff arm down to the ground and bowled over by Chenault. Top of the screen, we're going to see him do another one of these deep drag routes, deep crossing routes, and then use his run after the catch ability right there, which you see as soon as he gets it. Watch the reverse pivot. I love the pace. Slow down, sit down in the zone right there. And then when he gets it, reverse pivot into the numbers and not away. Like, he's not reverse pivoting. You know, he's not pivoting towards the defense, right? The outside. I think that's Bates. Reverse pivot inside. And then pick up an extra four yards. Just literally just falling forward. Picking up four more yards for us. It's just a good, good play. Good recognition of zone coverage. Way to throttle it down. Not carry himself into the opposing defensive back. Right here, set it down, boom, reverse pivot, get up field. I like that little subtle move by Chenault. He knew there was defensive pressure coming from the backside. I don't know if that's Bates. I don't think that's Bates. That's 38, not 30. But right, good catch, and get up field. Good job by Chenault. Here he is in motion, and 23 is coming with him, so you know it's man coverage. So let's see what Chenault does here in order to defeat that coverage. Nice little subtle move right there. So man coverage, and what they did was bump out, right? So Kevin Byard, the all-pro safety, is down here at the bottom of the screen. All-pro safety, drag across. He's going to end up taking the outside receiver. He plays inside against LaVisca Chenault. So when that happens, boom. Nice little move by Chenault right there. The sort of excellent move and then the hands. Just everything about this is just really good for such a big wide receiver. Nice little move. Avoid the jam. And you know, Kevin Byer is all pro safety. He's a great NFL safety, but it's just a better route runner. You put a you put a talented wide receiver like that, you know, you, you safety's feet are in the mud. And like, LaVisca's going to win this. And then he's big, physical, and strong. 
and they do rule him down by contact right here. So it looks like he fumbled, but he's down by contact. But you just see like how physically imposing he is, using his body to shield off the defender. It's a good catch. Want him to kind of hold on to that, even though, you know, referee ruled him down, but just hold on to it for our, uh, for our sanity when we're watching these games. But this is a mismatch right here. Strength. Look at the hands right there. Boom. Strength and fall forward. Use your body to shield off the defender. Make that grab. Secure the catch. Get down. Now, right here, we're going to see some of that versatility from Chenault. And, you know, Jacksonville uh, Jacksonville did this a lot. Here he is in the backfield. We've seen him lined up in the slot. We've seen him lined up outside. Now we got LaVisca in the backfield right here. And let's see what happens. Let's pitch it to him, right? <laughs> it's just a, he's a damn running back out there. I mean, literally, there's nothing special here. We need to pick up yards. We're at the 50. Pitch it to one of our best, most talented players. And then let him just zip around people. And this is why the Travis Etienne pick was so confusing. If if they wanted Travis e, if they wanted Percy Harvin, you have Percy Harvin with 30 more pounds, right? In in LaVisca. You got a 30 pound heavier Percy Harvin on your team. Already. You know, you didn't need to draft a running back at 25 to accomplish what you want to accomplish with a player like Chenault, and we know Urban Meyer with Curtis Samuel, with, with Percy Harvin, he, he's he's deployed these talented wide receivers like this in the past. And there were some people in the 2020 draft who just thought, hell, LaVisca just needs to play running back, right? Let him just play running back. Let him play this Percy Harvin role. But you just see how he's comfortable. Like, he's not panicked, uses his blocks well, balance, agility. Now, on this play, we're going to see some of that route-running ability from LaVisca Chenault. He's going to motion inside just to pull the defender away from the sideline because he's going to want run a whip route, which means he's going to push inside hard, reverse pivot to the outside, and run a short out. There you go. Create that space right there, and we're going to see some of the short area quickness from the big 230-pound receiver right here. Press him in. Boom. Whip out. Contact balance and power. Spinning off of defenders. Just... I mean, he's just throwing him out of his way. Boom, get off me. You get over there, and I'm still going to pick. I mean, I know it's minuscule, right? But how many times have we lost a fantasy matchup by like 0 .5, 0 .1, 0 .2? Like, his ability to create these extra yards, right? It's almost five extra yards from where he was initially contacted. More than five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six extra yards after contact. It's just how good he is after the catch. He's a tank. You know, when you look at that 2020 class of wide receivers, when you're just talking about yak ability, I don't think there's anyone better in the class than uh, than what LaVisca Chenault brings to the table. His combination of size, power, and speed is just unmatched. Just a great job. Now, right here, we're going to see him do this deep crossing route once again. But watch the pace. Slow pace it. Turn on the jets. Hands. Great catch. Great catch. With LaVisca, you got to imagine a little bit, right? You have to, because there, there wasn't a ton of production as a rookie. He did some really good things, but you got to imagine if he can get, you know, four of those targets a game, get four or five handoffs a game, get a couple of out routes per game, how special can he be? And I think pretty damn good. Right here on this deep crossing route, watch the pace. Then he turns it on. Well-timed ball, wasn't worried about the safety over the top. Make the catch, protect yourself, and get down. And then you see the vertical route right here. Again, zone coverage, he's got safety help, but it doesn't matter, you know. Well-timed ball and the speed of Chenault, like he was running, he was getting downfield quickly, right? Stem him out a little bit, weave him out, bring it back into the numbers, and then go make a difficult grab. That's a, that's a tough catch, you know? Good throw there by, is that uh, Glennon? Good throw by Glennon, sliding in the pocket, giving your playmaker a chance, and he converts for you. He can do it all. Down the field, short area, out of the backfield. Visca Chenault is a very, very talented 
very talented wide receiver with an awesome combination of size and speed and somebody that I think, you know, is in line with the usage to be a top 20 wide receiver in fantasy football this season with an improved offense, with Trevor Lawrence, with more weapons around him and a season under his belt, confidence. There's no reason why LaVisca Chenault shouldn't finish inside, at worst, the top 24 in scoring for wide receivers. Talented rookie. I want him. I want him. I want him. There it is. Visca is a talented player. Again, when he gets the ball in his hands, what he can do after the catch, he is like a running, walking tank. I mean, at six foot one, almost 230 pounds, the speed, the size, the athleticism is all there. His ability to make defenders miss on first contact, keep his balance, and matriculate the ball down the field is special. If I'm looking at where he's at right now, according to best ball ADP, he's being drafted somewhere in the 80 to 90 range. I think that's very fair. And a player like Visca can give you those boom weeks. You also have to watch out for those duds. I think the biggest thing to be cautious on is this entire Jacksonville Jaguars offense. We don't know what is going to happen. We have no clue. But he is a second-year player that I'm very, very bullish on. And if I can acquire Visca at cost, I would love to do so. Right now, the LaVisca Chenault hype is kind of off of the rails, so I think you'd be overpaying for him. So i just wait a little bit. Let some of the hype die down. Let some of the Travis Etienne hype build up. Let some of the DJ Chark hype build up. And then you'll have a perfect opportunity to strike on LaVisca Chenault. Talented player. Stay tuned because I think he's in line for a big season here in 2021. But that is it. Another film session in the books. We'll be back later this week with more content. Please subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, turn the alerts on, engage with the good people below, and I'll be back to holla at y'all soon. But I'm out of this thing for now. Peace.